Welcome back to Armful Place. We're playing the Whispering World. There seems to be some kind Whispered of a world. path. I have to get through somehow. The knife, of course. There we go. Ha! Huh, I knew it. There's an overgrown path leading deeper into the valley. Shana, I'm coming. Here we go. Onwards to meet the oracle. Or maybe die a horrible painful death. Come on, Spot, don't hang behind. Is he f does he have vertigo? Poor Spot. Are those rocks? Hey, who do we have here? What? Where? I don't see anything. There's a guy wearing a clown's costume. Huh? Don't try to pull my leg again. You what know pull? darn well I can't turn around. Who are you? Who wear rocks? Oh, is that so? Yeah, I'm Ralph. The guy behind me is Ingo. He's my half brother. Hey, I'm not your half brother. I'm your full brother. Yeah, but we're two. And brother divided by two equals a half brother. You sure about that? Of course. But I can check it again on my slide rule if you want me to. That'd be great. <laughs> yep, half brothers, all right. Although I got more brains and you got more rock. Your slide rule tells you all that. Yeah, it's right here. Man, <laughs> I'd love to take a look at it myself. Too bad I can't turn around. Oh. So what do rocks do for kicks all day long? What do you think we're doing? We do what most rocks do for kicks. We lie about and enjoy our simple lives. Which in Ingo's case is particularly simple. That sounds almost as boring as working in a circus. Why boring? We lie about enjoying the sun and don't get into harm's way. And we don't have any secret plans whatsoever, such as enslaving the world or anything like that. Enko. What? That's enough. What did I do this time? You can't even keep the slightest thing to yourself. I didn't say anything. That's not slight. Did I? I didn't say anything. It won't happen again. World I'll dominating rocks. There's a princess in that cage. Man, I'm really fed up with your excuses. But you know very well that we need an accomplice for our plan. One with legs. But not such a greenhorn. You want to take over the world? Your rocks that can somehow talk, and you somehow got into an adventure with a princess in a cage. You may be the greatest greatest video game characters ever conceived. Just saying. Enslave the world? <laughs> Sounds like a crackpot idea. A crackpot idea? And what would you call the decision to put on that hat this morning? Actually. I always sleep in my costume. You really are strange. Said the talking rock. How do you want to rule the world, and eh? How do you want to rule the world? How do you think? With a rock hard fist. Right. Just for your information, I'm not a greenhorn. See? He's not a greenhorn. Of course he is. An exceptional greenhorn. All pets are greenhorns to you. Angle. What's that Pets? over there? <laughs> what? Where? Looks like a lush meadow or a big tree frog. It's hard oh, to say. Oh, because it's I have legs. So green. Right, on. right. What is it? Hold on. I think it's... It's a... Yes, that's right. It's his horn. Are you finished yet? I plan to get a good share of abuse from other objects, too. A root, maybe. A heap of leaves. Oh, you want to disagree, huh? You don't like being called a greenhorn. Oh, wow. You've read my mind. After all, the opinions of two rocks lying at the side of the road are of greatest importance to me. You could try sass. to convince us otherwise. I'd be surprised if he could. We should at least give him a chance, Ralph. All right. I'll ask him the questions. Even though I'm sure he'll make a fool of himself. Well, well I am a clown. Of course we will. He probably even thinks Shana is a mystical snake creature. But, Ralph! Shana is a mystical snake creature. Nonsense. Shana's a bird, of course. You are wrong. Possibly. But I'm interested in what our Greenhorn thinks. Now then, who is Shana?
What? Shana is a mystical snake creature. So that's what you think, huh? Interesting. <laughs> Ask the second question. Yeah. I'm very curious too. How many eyes do more eyes have? <laughs> That's easy. They've got nine, of course. You're an idiot, Ingo. They haven't got nine eyes, they have eleven. The answer is nine. I'll stick with that. No, it's eleven. Our greenhorn friend will confirm that in a second. Now then, how many eyes does a more eye have? How am I supposed to know that? That proves it. You're a useless greenhorn. I always knew that. Uh... Any idea where I could find Shana? Shana? She lives in that cabin over there. Uh, uh, Ralph? Man, will she be pleased? Ralph? Uh, I think... She hasn't had any visitors for years. Hold on. What cabin? There's only a door. What? That's nonsense. No, Rob. He's right. Shanna's cabin is in ruins. Has been for a long time. But how did that happen? <laughs> Remember that storm? Eight years, three months, and 25 days ago? Sure, I guess you counted. I'm a rock. I never forget anything. In that case, you'll also remember the earthquake the next day. Of course. That was the day my termite ranch was destroyed. Damn erosion. So the cabin fell victim to the earthquake? No! Termites! I should have known. These guys are a bit... Does that mean Shana doesn't live here anymore? Oh no! She still lives here! She does? Yeah! In the cabin? Yeah! Of which only the door still remains. <laughs> now you get it! Oh my, I'm getting that headache again. Shall I carry you someplace else for a change? Don't even think about it. We're not being pushed around by anyone. Well, I wouldn't mind being rotated a bit. I've been staring at that same rock over there for ages. Have you lost the little that's left of your dignity? We are rocks. We don't need any help. <laughs> but Ralph, that rock looks like a cow's behind. And that's not all. I've been lying on this pointed stick for years. I may Aww, be a poor, rock, but I have Ringle. feelings too, you know. We don't let ourselves be carried around, and that's that. Proud, proud rock. Back to your plan. You didn't tell anyone, did you? I've Not been yet. as mute as a rock. Hey, watch it, Greenhorn. Don't try to make fun of us, or you'll feel our wrath. What would you do? Stone me to death? Let's not argue. We must concentrate on the plan. Enough of your phantasms. Phantasms? We don't have to take that. Especially not from a greenhorn like you. See you later. Yeah. You know where to find us. We're not going anywhere. No, I guess not. Maybe if I knock on the door. Hmm, locked. What a surprise. And this is where Shana is supposed to live? How is that possible? Hello? Anybody home? Nothing. Of course nothing. Whatever did I expect? The whole world is full of obstructions and hindrances. And I'm wasting time dealing with a door that isn't even locked. I'm such a wimp. Can I just knock on it? Knock knock, dude. What the hell? Well, that won't work, I can assure you. What's he trying to do? <laughs> he tried to enter the cabin the regular way. <laughs> what a greenhorn. What? What? Uh... What are you up to? Why? 
What? I think he... he wants to bury you. What? Why me? Well, you're a lot... rounder. <laughs> Have mercy! Ingo, you sissy. We're rocks. We don't cry for mercy. We face our fate. You guys. Hello, you two. Ingo, look. The clown's back. How would I know? Back to your plan. I was wrong to tell you about it. He only wants to help. That's impossible. He is and always will be a greenhorn. Just for your information, I'm not a greenhorn. We'll see. Of course we will. He probably even thinks Shana is a mystical snake creature. But Rav, Shana is a mystical snake creature. Nonsense. Shana's a bird, of course. You are wrong. Possibly. But I'm interested in what our Greenhorn thinks. Now then, who is Shana? Shana is a mystical snake creature. So that's what you think, huh? Interesting. <laughs> Ask the second question. Yeah, I'm very curious too. How many eyes do more eyes have? <laughs> that's easy. They've got nine, of course. You're an idiot, Ingo. They haven't got nine eyes, they have eleven. The answer is nine. I'll stick with that. No, it's eleven. Our greenhorn friend will confirm that in a second. Now then, how many eyes does a more eye have? Nine. Is that your answer? You heard him all right. <laughs> Ask the third question. All right, don't push me. Question is, where does Kalita live? I know, I know. She lives in the middle of the lake. Rubbish. The leader lives in a cave. You think so? What I think is irrelevant. The clown shall answer the question. Now then, where does Kalida live? Who is Kalida? In a cave. <laughs> you are a greenhorn, all right? I always knew that. Back to your... I was... He that's... Just for your... In oh, he pro but... Nonsense. You are... Possibly. Now then... Shana. So in <laughs> You're in it. I haven't the uh, No, our green now. Okay, we're skipping nine. the dialogue. You <laughs> are a I know she lives. Robert Hughes. What I the clown now. In the middle of the lake. <laughs> you are a greenhorn, all right? I always. See you later. Yeah. We're not. Okay. Who's Kalita? I can't take that. It's chiseled in stone. Maybe if we go back, maybe we can like... Hey! What do you think you're doing? I thought I'd collect you for a start. You'd better forget it, clown. We stones have our pride, you know? We don't let ourselves be dragged around by just any legged creature that happens to come along. What about the whispering stone? You call your stinking pet back. Spot does not stink. Who's talking to you? I was talking to the caterpillar, if you don't mind. What the hell? Well, okay then. Maybe we should go back to the lake. Sure. The island seems to be inhabited, but it's too far away to swim there. The water looks downright cloudy. No, wait. That's just a reflection of my face. Aww, sad wake. Hmm, I'm stuck again. Fun fact, I hate being stuck. Hmm, bombs? That's not a bad idea, but I'm worried it'll make the cave collapse. Maybe I should think about something less explosive? 
I have a kind of a web too. And size doesn't always matter. <laughs> Not always. I may be wrong, but I don't think the spider would accept that as an offering. I'm not here to collect mushrooms, and that goes twice for those. What kind of mushroom thoughts, anyway? It's my policy not to disgrace foreign cult sites. It's hard enough that my own god hates me. I'm not touching that one. Not touching that one. By the way, Spot, why the hell did you eat it? Kinda needed that. I should go back to the circus. Try to find out what the hell is going on with those electrical cords. Ah, uh, hello, Grandpa. Ah, hello, Ben. Is your hat still too tight? Okay, not doing that. See you later. Cheer up, Ben. Why doesn't he ask them about those? No, those strange pipes are in the way. No, I don't want to have to deal with these things. You have to deal with these things. No, I don't want to have to deal with these things. You have to deal with these things. Uh. No, I don't want to have to deal with these things. Never heard of electrical cords in a cabin anyway. Okay, let's see. Let's go in here. Again. Maybe the shovel can do something. Eating fresh spider webs is supposed to be healthy. I think that's only true if the spider is smaller than you are. And... casket? I may be wrong, but I don't... Let's see... No, I... Let's... I can't... Okay. That did not work. I have to somehow activate uh, Spot's Whispering Stone thing. I think that might have something to do with all this. At least it does have something to do with this thing. Oh my! Did he try the regular way again? <laughs> yes! <laughs> what a greenhorn. Maybe if I go to the other side. Oh. Well. Huh? Where did I end up now? How is that possible? Shana? Oh, those notes. Does he have nothing better to do than create disorder amongst our belongings? And I already have one. I'd better not mess with Shauna's armchair. She might curse me with a blue pox if I do. It's an oracle, not a witch.
guess. I guess you need some of this. What the hell does that mean? It would take hours to read them all. Oh, there's a button. What did that do? Did that do anything? Doesn't seem like it did anything. Mr. Clock? Has nothing to do with the numbers, I see. Well, let's take a look at the globe then. The autumn forest isn't even charted on the globe. Corona is far away. So he traveled far? Shana doesn't seem to be home. Does he have nothing better to do than create disorder amongst our belongings? And I already have one. What? No, this place is messed up enough. No. No. I did something right, and then I got kind of stuck. Uh... Oh well. Thank you for watching this episode of Thankful Place. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you join me next time for more shenanigans. Bye!